welcome to this IPCO tutorial on how to install your dual frequency registration reader. Alright, so to get started, we're going to go ahead and download a couple of things. We're going to go to our IPCO site, which is support.ipcosports.com, and we're going to look for an article in there, which is called IPCO DF Registration Reader Installation Instructions. It may appear on the front page there where it says common topics or it might not, in which case you can use this search bar up here to select, or to search for it. All right, so I'm gonna select that, and then you can see that it has two options for me. I have one for Windows 7 and below, that's actually inaccurate. Windows 7 is the, uh, the, the oldest version that is supported, so you cannot have Windows XP or 2000 or anything like that, um, and have this work with it. So, Windows 7, this is the driver for you. If you have Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10, uh, this one is the one that you're going to want to use right here. Okay. All right, so once you've downloaded that, we're going to actually go to another website uh, real quick, and that's going to be Silicon Labs, which is scilabs.com, and we're going to search for this driver right here. It's CP210X USB to UART Bridge VCP Drivers. Okay. And once you've gotten to this page, it should look exactly like this. You're going to see two options. We're going to uh, select the one on top that says download VCP 5.3 megabytes and then in parentheses default. Okay, so download both of those, this and this. And once you've got that, we're going to go ahead and start the installation process. Now to begin with, we're going to go to our device manager just to make sure that everything looks correct. Now if you don't know how to get to your device manager, the simplest way is probably to use the search toolbar, um, which has an option where you can simply type in uh, device manager and select it from the list. Yours may look a little bit different than mine. I'm using Windows 10, but you should all have some sort of uh, search option. Once you've gotten that open, you're going to have a list of options here, and you're going to need to search for uh, something that looks a little bit like this. It's, it should it should say IPCO DFRR COM port. It may not. It may something say something like generic uh, USB port or something of that nature, or excuse me, generic COM port or something like that. Um, don't worry about that. We're going to take care of that. If you don't see it in this list, if you don't see it listed at all in here, that's where we're going to need to take that uh, that driver that we were talking about uh, from Silicon Labs, and we're going to need to install that. So I'll show you that first and then we'll actually install the drivers for the registration reader. So if you need this, you're gonna go to wherever you've downloaded it. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be something that I downloaded to my desktop, and then IPCO software, and then I've got a folder here called CP210X Windows drivers. It's gonna be a, a zip file, so you're gonna need to extract that, but once you've done so, you're going to get all these files, and the installer is going to be the one that is applicable for your particular system. In this case, I'm using x64. If you're not sure, you can just come over here to where it says this PC, or I believe in Windows 7 it is my computer, and you can come down to Properties, and it should tell you next to System Type, type whether you're using 32-bit or 64-bit, or rather 86 for the 32-bit. Okay? So... Choose the one that's applicable to you, go ahead and install it, and once you've installed that, you come back into here, and you should now see an option that shows you, it may, and it may say something like Scilabs um, USB to UART or something like that. Don't worry about that, as long as you see that there's something in there. Now what you should expect to see uh, for anybody who's installing it for the first time is a little icon next to here that has a triangular yellow icon that has a little exclamation point in the middle. So let's go ahead and right click on this and we're going to select update driver software and then we're going to select browse my computer for driver software and then you're going to browse for where you actually installed it or rather where you downloaded it. So before I get ahead of myself let's go back and extract those files. Okay so again I'm going to go to my desktop, IPCO, software, and I have stored it here in this registration reader folder. All right, so we're gonna extract those files. Extract here, 
it says that I, they already exist because I have already extracted them, but I'm going to go ahead and click yes to all. And that will extract those into this folder for me. Okay, Just keep the, this in mind, Okay, the location. You can actually copy this if you want and then paste it up into here. That's an option. Or you can just use the browse button and then you can search for it. Once you've found the folder, you're going to select it, which is registration reader, and you're going to click OK. All right, then click Next. It will install, and then you can click Close. Now it should say IPCO DFRR Comport with the COM number next to it. All right, and it's as simple as that, guys. I hope this has been informative to you. Uh, in the next one, we'll talk about how you can use this registration reader in conjunction with our program called uh, Tag Scanner to actually create files for your runners to match up with their bib tags. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.